Oh. Welcome back to Anti-Chef Cooks the World. I'm Jamie and no, I am not a chef. I am learning how to cook and I like to make foods that I've never made before so I've challenged myself in this series to cook a dish from every single country in the world in alphabetical order. We're just getting started and I got a long way to go. Today we're still in A. We're cooking food from Andorra. Andorra is a very tiny Catalan country. It's between France and Spain. It's like landlocked in there, like smack dab right in the mountains. It's a tiny one. It's the 16th smallest country in the world. I'm gonna be making escudella, which is this meat and veggie soup and kind of like a stew as well. Uh, the main ingredient is a meatball. This is an old dish. It's from like the 16th, 14th century. Paraphrasing here, in the 14th century, it was eaten every day by the Catalan people. There you go. Um, I'm gonna start making it now. So this recipe is like ham and pork overdrive. Uh, I'm not a, a big pork eater at all, but I'm gonna make an exception today and well, probably this series in general. Because I'm living remotely right now, I couldn't find ground pork where uh, where I'm shopping, I had to pick up two pork sausages and I'm just gonna cut these up into kind of like meatball shapes. How about that? Good, happy with that. Meatball city. A couple slices of ham that I'm gonna dice up into little shapes like that. Stack them, do it this way. Yes, much better. Efficient. Say so. Okay, next in line for this poor pig, Pork marrow bones. So we got this, we got the ham here, we got the sausage here. Yeah, this is all pork, baby. On top of that, I have a chicken breast. Let's go to the stove. Frying pan, turn on the heat, olive oil. Add the meatballs. Brown these up and cook them for five minutes. Nine cups of water is roughly 2,129 milliliters which is also a little over two liters. Heat it up, add the diced ham, two bones, full chicken breast, and the meatballs. Bring it to a boil. There we go. Once it's brought to a boil, let's turn the heat down and let it simmer for two hours. I totally should have removed the sausage casings around each one of these meatballs. This has got to go. Back you go. Okay, moving on. Two potatoes, peel them, cube them. Cabbage, quarter of this, wash it. Go away, core. Choppity chop. After two hours, add the potatoes, quarter cup of basmati rice, mix it all good. Take these two bones out. Simmer for half an hour. So what, half a can of chickpeas and three quarters of a can of a white cannelli, cannelli, cannellini, cannellini, cannellini bean, white kidney beans. Wash these. Cannellini, cannellini, canna, cannellini, cannellini. In they go. All right, so I just removed the full chicken breast because we got some stuff to do with this. I'm gonna take my favorite fork and start shredding. Shred away into the stew. For my next trick, I'm gonna cut up some prosciutto, because why not? If there's any more room, cabbage. I don't know how I'm gonna get the last of the ingredients in here, because this is filling up fast. So I have half a cup of noodles shaped like seashells. In these go, somehow. Shove them down there, make them fit. There's been no mention of seasoning and it definitely needs to be right now. Salt, pepper, and just like a teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna turn the heat up. I'm gonna cook this for a further uh, 10 minutes. It needs just a little bit more of something. Honestly, more salt and more pepper. Cumin while we're at it. Scum on the top, the fat on the top. I'm gonna remove this. Okay, do I have anything green? Anything green? Yes, I do. Cilantro. Dish is very beige and needs a little, uh, little greenery.
With all the stuff that's in here, it's hard not to make the perfect bite. Like everything on that spoon right now. Look at that. I enjoy every little part in there, but the thing that steals the show is the meatballs. You know, you go in there and you're searching for a meatball. If you like meat, if you like pork, then I very much recommend it. If you don't, then I'd skip this one. That wraps up Andorra. We'll be back in another country next time. If you have a recommendation for a dish from any of these countries right here, uh, leave it commented down below because that's gonna help me decide what I'm gonna make next because I need your help. Uh, that's it, I'll see you very soon. I do.